Let's jump back now into the action. 24-17 the score at halftime. OSU at home with the lead. And here we go with third quarter play in Oklahoma State has the football and uh, coach mentioned Zach Robinson the, the quarterback and I like what you said about him ahead of the game really a calming presence and influence and you can see that with his senior leadership on that football team yeah you know he's played a lot of games and uh, three years of football games and you know you've been through a lot and really that right there was a play that uh, they went they, were, they want to go way downfield and he turned that into a positive play yeah um, again we got missed tackle a little bit soft there trying to get the ball out rather than tackling and uh, you know, this drive right here they they come out and they started this drive in the 50-yard line, and we, you know, we really with a kickoff return uh, by them, and we held them to a field goal, which is really good considering where the where the drive had started. Yeah, Dan Bailey, the kicker, had been just three of six in field goal attempts this season, but was four for four on Saturday night in Stillwater. Made that one, but still, just a field goal, 10-point game, and this was a big player. What could have been uh, Gary Jasper Simmons, the long return. And it's a pretty nifty run with some blocking along the way, but would be called back uh, for holding on your guys. And that obviously is a huge swing there. Well, we're going to look at and evaluate. It's a 90-yard call. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. So, you know, it, it, uh, you know, it better be right. I mean, and, and uh, if we made a mistake, then we have to deal with that. And, and you can't do those things in a one-win football game. So just three points in the third quarter for OSU, 27-17. Game is still in the balance, obviously. Fourth quarter now as we switch ends, and it's a... Uh, Robinson pressured by Brian Coulter has to throw it away. I, I thought your defense really was hanging in there and giving you a chance to come back in this game. Uh, that was a long field goal. They, uh, they got nine points the whole second half. Right. And uh, I thought overall we played really, really, really good defense. Three of those drives started around midfield too, so they had short, short fields, and so that, that, was, that was I think was a plus for us. Bailey made that 51-yard field goal to make it 30 to 17, and then on the return, this is ruled a fumble by Simmons. OSU recovers at the Tiger 20. Well, the ball's on the 20-yard line. I mean, you know, defense here, here, you know, they hand it to you, but they are defense. I was very impressed with uh, how they came. They remained very focused, and uh, you know, didn't look at the score. Just said, you know, we're going to we go out and do our job, and and held them to a field goal. And that's that's you talk about a win win right there for Mizzou. Uh, with that kind of a turnover. You get a touchdown and you give them the ball on the 10-yard line, it's hard to win uh, some football games. You guys still hanging in there. Gabbert to Jarrell Jackson, a 21-yard pickup. Then it's fourth and two, and you're really getting down to crunch time here in the fourth quarter. So you, you go forward at the OSU 41, and you're effective. Gabbert to Denario Alexander for 11 and a first down. Yeah, we're, uh, you know, getting, this is a drive that we're going, uh, first few drives in the second half, we didn't do very well. Finally got this going here, then we got a sack. And, uh, you know, the negative yardage we certainly don't need. So Tigers uh, up against it here in the fourth quarter, but still plugging away. And this is a running play. And that's Devin Moore for 15 yards. I think he had 42 yards on seven carries. So obviously six a pop. And he gave you a little spark, it seems. Yeah, I did a lot of, a lot of good things. And, you know, off offensive football is a fourth down play right there. And we're, we're down two scores with, you know, three, four minutes right. left. And you guys, you know, we're right in it, right in the things. Our defense is playing well, even though we're struggling a little bit. Here's a screen again. We're swarming the ball. Yeah, Jerron Baston uh, makes the play on the screen pass. You get another look at it, and the captain on the defensive line really gets out there in coverage to make the tackle on Keith Toastin uh, for a loss of four yards. But uh, field position uh, would be tough in this second half. And here they boom a punt. But you guys had an answer for this on a little bit of a reverse action, if you will, get us to Simmons just in the nick of time, and it really was effective, Gary. Well, you know, again, we just needed a big play to get us in position. Some great blocks right there. Get the ball down to the 18-yard line, and, and uh, again, one score, and, and uh, you know, we're right back in the football game because our defense is playing well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're kind of scrambling around there. They have good coverage. Uh, got to throw it out there, and, uh, you know, we, we go for and fourth down. And, you know, a little bit too much moving on the front. He didn't get outside, and the back side end caught us. And uh, that's disappointing. You know, get the ball at the 18-yard line, come away with no points. Good, good pressure by Jerome Baston right there. Really, really playing well as a captain. Well, and the other captain as well, of course, Sean Weatherspoon. These guys clearly trying to do their best to lead your defense. And a Spoon, obviously, as you would expect, and, and I know you demand plays until the, the final whistle, if you will, with that big hit and form tackle there, but just not enough for 33-17. The offense played pretty good in the first half, and the defense played really, really good in the second half, and, uh, and the turnovers. I mean, you know, those things uh, uh, and mistakes in the kicking game, some penalties, and uh, you know, that's coaching. You know, we work real hard, you know, at trying to do things right since we've been here. 
but uh, you know, all those mistakes, it's very difficult to win. We let you know that this week's Missouri Employers Mutual Player of the Week is the senior and co-captain Denario Alexander. What a big night he had. Nine catches for 180 yards and a 48-yard touchdown. MEM is the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.